welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose, and it's going to be a short one today, unfortunately, but that's okay. I don't have any birthdays to go over today, but I do have one little fun fact I'd like to hand out to you before we dive into today's episode, which is episode number 323, by the way. It is, there were two medals of honor for the Civil War that were not given in even in the same century. Uh, (laughs) It was very common for uh, those medals to be awarded a couple, you know, a decade or two after the conflict ended. But there were two that were done over 100 years later. Andrew Jackson Smith was uh, with the Union Army for his actions during the Battle of Honey Hill. His medal was issued 137 years after his action in 2001. Uh, There was a missing battle report that that caused that delay. And that was the longest delay until November of 2014, when President Obama awarded it to Alonzo Cushing, who was a first lieutenant in the Union Army for his actions at the Battle of Gettysburg. So that was 151 years after the actions. Cool little fun fact there to uh, start off the episode, but other than that, I got nothing else to really go over for right now, so let's dive right on into episode number 323. James was born on the 6th of September, 1828, in Edgar County, Illinois, and he served in the 59th Indiana Infantry. It was his actions as a first lieutenant during the Second Battle of Corinth on the 4th of October, 1862, that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, Voluntarily took command of another regiment with the consent of one or more of his seniors who were present, rallied the command, and led it in the assault. James had taken command of the 48th Indiana Volunteer Infantry once its commander had been killed. He married Elizabeth Chambers, and they had six children. James W. Archer received his Medal of Honor on the 2nd of August, 1897, and he died on the 28th of January, 1908, at the age of 79. He is buried in the Riverside Cemetery in Spencer, Indiana, with his wife, who joined him 16 years later. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com where you can read these stories, see other ways to support the show, and easily share a story with your friends and family. Tales of Honor Podcast is written and produced by Christoph Ambrose, and theme song, A New Beginning, is by Ben Sound. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.